All right. Yeah. Needless to say, anyway, William from Williams, Philippines here. Let me see if I can reposition this and level it a little. Okay. Uh, I tried to do it with just the camera and then upload it, but yeah. Apparently where my camera stores it, and when I use it as a USB file thing, it's just not finding it. The computer, little Chromebook isn't, so yay. Happy joy joy. So I have yeah, a whole other video inside the camera that I can find in the camera that I can't find using the Chromebook. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, today is... April 17th of 2024, Wednesday morning. I'll be heading to Lubbock today to go get the colonoscopy doctor and the colonoscopy scheduled and set up. Uh, initial consult. Yay. Oh, yay. <laughs> I don't like this idea. <sighs> yeah. My idea for this is that's supposed to only be an exit, not an entrance, or a camera scene, a movie screen theme, scene, I don't know, theme, yeah, it's not a movie set, but they want to turn it into one, so, yeah, anyway, <laughs> on better notes, yeah, I'll be heading down for, well, leave here go drop some stuff off and head back out and I'll try to get some video of that going down that direction uh, yeah I had a seen a bit of video from uh, you know checking YouTube and ran across uh, I think it was Filipina unfiltered I'm not sure anyway she was talking with a private investigator over there some lady uh, I guess up near Manila or something I'm not sure but uh, she was saying that uh, well ladies they're in the Philippines you sh uh, apparently 80% of you are cheating according to the private investigator now that's probably because of uh, it being a pre-filtered situation where it's somebody already thinks somebody's cheating so the guys bring it over there and say hey check this out so the guy already thinks they're cheating so that's probably biasing the numbers there I'm not sure but uh the private investigator found it at 80 percent you females are yeah not good ladies come on you're better than that i don't know like i say it's it's biased numbers if you ask me because of the way it's already been pre-filtered for here's a subset of folks that are actually think something is wrong so here go look uh, and so gentlemen if you think you're being scammed most likely you are and one of the numbers this lady also put out was that uh, on these dating sites and such 60% uh, are fake hello Chinese guy uh, yeah hiring somebody to take and scam you so uh, not good but hey it is what it is uh, but yeah I'm gonna try to head down to Lubbock today I'll see if I can get a little bit of video going down and back 
because Lubbock, Lubbock, Texas is actually a pretty nice, you know, place. Uh, High Plains Desert also. And there's a bunch of wide open nothing between here and there. A lot of cotton fields. Uh, a lot of wheat and other stuff too, but a lot of cotton fields out that direction. So, yay. Sorry, back is sore and shoulder is sore. So I don't know which one I want to try to be a tender with at this point. You get old, you get hurt, you start aching. The interest coming due on prior uh, youthful and uh, yeah, youthful misdeeds. <laughs> Put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, trying to get uh, the things took care of. I didn't get to get the land sold today. They couldn't get in touch with somebody and uh, I still want them to buy it so I'm not going to scream too much but when they say three day close they should mean three day close and well he sure wanted me to say yes to making sure it was a three day close or a five day close you know give him permission to hit me up a couple days later for getting the signatures yeah part of me says I shouldn't have done that and went ahead and just uh, smacked them and you know have it sell to somebody else but I just want to get rid of this land and get that money as fast as I can off into something that's uh, you know cutting down the credit card debt and something that's starting to try to grow some so <sighs> I don't know. It is what it is. But yeah, they didn't let, uh, we didn't get over to get it signed today, so uh, have to get over there on Thursday, which means I'm going to probably be very grumpy with them because I don't like going to dentists and they're going to be, oh yeah, I'm going to be at the dentists on Thursday. Hmm. Fittings. Checking and seeing if everything fits right. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, uh, trying to get that taken care of and see if the partial denture can be started at this point. Because uh, I do want some real teeth, well, at least fake teeth up in here. Because, yeah, I'm tired of scaring jack-o'-lanterns. And I really would like to be able to eat right. Uh, yeah. It is what it is. Anyway, uh, that is what today is going to be entailing, is going down to Lubbock. And then, sorry, I bumped it. Uh, today is going to be involved going down to Lubbock and getting that part of the doctor stuff took taken care of and then tomorrow Thursday getting the dental and hopefully the signature on my property taken care of uh, I don't know what else I might try to do if I get back done Thursday uh, we'll see it is what it is anyway uh, the cost of that money uh, you know will save money on my interest because it's like 29 something so 30 percent interest on that credit card so knocking it out is a good thing uh, don't get me wrong it'd probably be better if I went ahead and put everything toward paying the credit card debt off uh, but I am pounding away at that pretty regular. I mean, 200 bucks a month. Uh, I'll be so glad when I get all these things paid off. 
I even thought about taking and hitting, uh, paying off my little individual loan, because it actually clear that one. Fifteen hundred is all good on it, so I could actually erase that one. Part of me says do that, because you know that would also clear off some money that uh, could go toward paying off other bills. I don't know. Right now, it's kind of a juggle between part of the credit card part into my stockbroker account and. You know, my stock account, and start drawing a little bit of, uh, not interest, but uh, dividends there. And then uh, the other just completely wiping off the small loan I have and get rid of it. And that would actually leave me with a little bit of money to go towards something else, which would be a good thing too. Uh, we'll see. I won't have it until Thursday. Uh, so, I don't know. But as soon as I get that, I'll carry it over, put it in the bank one way or another. I'll figure out exactly where it's going from there. And, yeah, I don't know. Part of me says, just let it sit there for five days while they clear it and make sure that it's a good check. I don't trust a lot when it comes down to money. Uh, I don't know. Too much time on Stupid Street and I've seen too much stuff go stupid to uh, just let it, you know, not be careful and cautious with things. Just saying. Anyway, I'm going to let this go because I need to put this back on the charger and get it charged. I need to get the little netbook charged. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know why it didn't let me uh, find it to actually get it into the computer here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One of these days I'll get it figured out. <laughs> Of course, about that time, I'll swap over to another computer, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Actually, I do would like to find a little computer like this for, with Windows 11 on it, that, uh, I'd really like to say, I like Linux Mint, but they don't have a lot of those for sale at the, you know, can, at most stores in you know, so, uh, shops and such. They just don't have a lot of Linux computers for sale at Best Buy or on the internet. It is what it is. Anyway, William from Williams, Philippines. Y'all have a wonderful day. Later blessings. Bye-bye. I'm Fish and Fish is out.